April 10, 2023, brilliant evening star Venus passes the Pleiade star cluster in a pretty conjunction. Venus joins Mercury and Mars in the evening sky, while Saturn and the gibbous moon are visible before sunup. Photo caption, 2020, April 3rd, Venus passes the Pleiades, photo by Tim S. By Jeffrey L. Hunt. Chicago, Illinois, sunrise, 6.19 a.m. CDT, sunset, 7.26 p.m. CDT. Check local sources for sunrise and sunset times for your location. Times are calculated by the U.S. Naval Observatory's MICA computer program. Here is today's planet forecast. Morning sky. Chart caption, 2023, April 10, the gibbous moon is near and tarries in the south-southwest before sunup. This morning the bright moon, 81% illuminated, is low in the south-southwest, 2.0 degrees to the left of Antares, the brightest star in Scorpius at one hour before sunrise. To see the star with the bright moonlight, block the moon with your hand as you would shade your eyes from the sun. The moon continues its eastward hop. Find it farther toward the eastern horizon tomorrow morning. Chart Caption, 2023, April 10, Saturn is low in the east-southeast before sunrise. Saturn is visible at this hour but it rises higher and appears through the blush of morning twilight in the east-southeast as daybreak approaches. Fifteen minutes later, the ringed wonder is nearly 10 degrees above the horizon. It rises earlier each morning compared to sunrise, appearing higher in the sky. Evening Sky Chart Caption, 2023, April 10, Venus and Mercury are in the western sky after sundown. Jupiter is at conjunction tomorrow on the far side of the sun. It moves into the morning sky, emerging from bright morning twilight next month. Venus and Mercury are in the western evening sky at nightfall. Brilliant Venus stands nearly 30 degrees up in the west at 45 minutes after the sun disappears below the horizon. It is brightest star-like body in the sky and its visual intensity competes with the lights on low-flying airplanes. Chart Caption, 2023, April 1st to April 22nd, Venus moves from Aries into Taurus, passing the Pleiades and the Hyades. Tonight and tomorrow evening, Venus passes the Pleiades. It is 2.6 degrees to the lower left of Alcyone, the brightest star in the cluster, and 12.4 degrees to the lower right of Aldebaran, Taurus' brightest star. Chart Caption, 2023, April 10, through a binocular, Venus is 2.6 degrees to the lower left of the Pleiades star cluster. Use a binocular to spot the planet and the star cluster in the same field of view. With or without a binocular this is a wondrous scene, especially as the sky darkens further. Venus sets 205 minutes after sunset with the end of twilight occurring 90 minutes earlier, though do not wait until the planet and the star cluster are too low in the sky. The next visible Venus-Pleiades conjunction occurs July 5, 2025. The Pleiades and other similar so-called open clusters or galactic clusters are used as benchmarks for the ages of stars. The cluster has many blue stars, indicating a younger age. That is, bright blue stars tend to consume their nuclear fuels quicker than the sun and morph into their next stellar stages as red giants and red supergiants. Look for Sirius, the night's brightest star in the south-southwest. It is slightly lower in the sky than Venus and less than 60 degrees from the evening star. Mercury's largest separation from the sun, known as the greatest elongation, occurs tomorrow evening. Find it 10.0 degrees up in the west-northwest and nearly 20 degrees to the lower right of Venus. Mercury is making its best appearance of the year. This evening it sets 105 minutes after sundown, so look for it early. At arm's length, hold a fist vertically with the pinky finger at the horizon. Mercury appears near the thumb knuckle. Venus is two stacked fists to the upper left of the speedy planet. Chart Caption, 2023, April 10, Mars marches eastward in Gemini below Castor and near Mebsutta. Mars, less than 40 degrees to the upper left of Venus marches eastward against Gemini's distant stars. It is less than 15 degrees to the lower right of Castor, one of the twins. Pollux, the other twin, is 4.5 degrees to the left of Castor. As evening twilight ends, Venus is about 20 degrees above the western horizon, while Mars is over 50 degrees above the west-southwest horizon. The accompanying chart shows Gemini's dimmer stars that are visible away from the perpetual glow of outdoor light. In urban and suburban settings, Castor, Pollux, and Elena are visible. The pattern resembles two stick figures. Use a binocular to spot the red planet, 1.9 degrees to the lower right of Mebsutta, meaning the outstretched paw of the lion. During the next few evenings, watch Mars appear to pass this star. 